Hi, I'm Mike from Garmin, and I'm here today to tell you about our first truly all-digital audio panel, the Garmin GMA350, which represents a major leap forward in cockpit communications. It sports revolutionary new technologies that can greatly reduce pilot workload. But these features don't add complexity. You'll find that using the GMA350 is as simple as using any other audio panel. For example, one of the most advanced features of the GMA350 is 3D audio, which requires no input from the pilot at all. With a traditional audio panel, multiple comm sources will seem to be coming from straight in front of you. But with a stereo headset, 3D audio in the GMA350 makes it seem as though different audio sources are coming from different directions all around you. This makes it easier to pick out and focus on one particular source from among many. So what time do you think we'll arrive? I'm already getting You can enable or disable 3D audio by pressing and holding the pilot key. Distributing audio using the device's knobs and buttons is easy thanks to Blue Select Mode. You can enter Blue Select Mode by pressing the small knob. Then, press the button for the input that you'd like to distribute, like the telephone. The blue enunciator above will blink. Now, you can select the positions to distribute the phone audio to, like the passenger. A solid blue enunciator shows which audio sources and positions are currently active. When you're done, just press the small knob again to exit Blue Select Mode. As easy as Blue Select Mode is, you'll find intelligence voice commands to be even easier. Nearly every function of the GMA350 can be accessed using these spoken commands. To use a voice command, just hold the push to command button, typically wired to the controls, and speak. For example, saying COM1 will toggle COM1 on or off. Or say split COM. This will toggle COM1 and mic1 for the pilot, and COM2 and mic2 for the co-pilot. It's that simple. Voice commands are particularly handy while on an approach. They allow you to keep your eyes on the instruments while toggling for the handoff from air traffic control to the tower. It also allows you to keep your eyes on the instruments during IFR operations or outside the aircraft while taxiing or other VFR operations. Just look at the audio panel to find cues for initiating a voice command, starting from the top row down. After a few commands, everything will start to become second nature. Let's say you want to distribute music to your passengers. Press the push to command button and say what you'd like to do. In this instance, we'll opt to distribute audio. Then choose the type of audio from the top row, like music. And finally, indicate to whom using the labels from the bottom row, such as passenger. So the entire command becomes, Distribute music to passenger. That's an example of a fairly basic request. You can also put together more specific requests like distribute music to passenger and copilot. Remember, most everything that a button can be used for can be performed with your voice, leaving your hands firmly on the controls. As always, consult the pilot's guide for a complete list of commands. As you use a GMA350, you'll be surprised just how intuitive it is. Your local dealer will be happy to share more about how it can help you streamline your cockpit and cabin communications.